just take all my money like mm, I'm eating off of. Hey Loradas, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Tasha if you are new here. And today we are going to get into the things that I am going to reach, be reaching for the most this fall. Like it is fall. It's time for me to pull out my fall fragrances and my fall body care items. And I just wanted to show y'all like my main staples. What my essentials are going to look like this fall season if you're a girl like me then you are everything a pumpkin spice vanilla cinnamon all the good things of fall so if you are interested in and just seeing what i'm going to be reaching for then stay tuned okay girl so first we are going to start off with fragrance i am a fragrance girly i'm a vanilla girly i'm a gourmand girly so if those are not your scent profiles then i don't know what to tell you but let's get into it so first up on my list is something that i always reach for fall i got it last year and i wore it all fall and winter and i'm definitely bringing it out again this fall and you guys i will link what i can um on my amazon storefront but i just really just wanted to share what i was going to be using so i haven't looked for any links like that but what i can link i will link so first off is camera by latafa i got this on the tiktok shop this is amazing okay it is fall in a bottle it is like so super spicy and boozy oh my goodness i cannot get enough of this fragrance like this is one that you definitely want to pick up year round because it just smells that good it is perfect for layering they say that it is a angel share dupe i have not smelled angel share so i cannot confirm or deny but if it smells like this i know the bottle the packaging is very similar except this is a square bottle and i know angel share is more round but you guys, this, oh my God, this smells so good. It's just giving me a fall in a bottle. It's like a nice vanilla, bourbon, apples, cinnamon, vanilla, amber, like I said, praline. Oh my God. I know that y'all have heard about this and believe me. It is worth all the now, this next hype. fragrance is Fire Your Desire, which is another Arabian fragrance. Now, I actually love to layer these two. Now, I mix these and they really give you a fall boozy dessert. This one is a little bit more intoxicating. Oh, my goodness. This one is just a little bit more intoxicating. I want to say... Oh, I really can't explain it. I, I want to say, I don't want to say the wrong thing to turn you off, but it gives me like a spicy licorice type smell, but in a good way. It gives you a very spicy smell in a good way. Now it is a little lighter than the camera because the camera lasts, okay? She lasts all day. You will smell her for hours and hours and hours. Now this one is a little lighter, but they just complement each other so well now they stand great on their own but like i said this one does not last that long but together a powerhouse now you can never go wrong with vanilla 28 that she is everything she's the perfect vanilla to layer she is potent she is very intoxicating i absolutely love this profile of vanilla it's not childish but it's a really strong and like vanilla beanish vanilla like if it's just vanilla if you are a vanilla girl then you will absolutely love this a lot of people you will read mixed reviews but it's all in your preference and what you like i'm a vanilla girl through and through so i will smell only any very almost any variation of vanilla in a fragrance but this i add her to almost everything she's just that all around girl that you could just add to any layer combo and it just takes them to another level like i said especially if you love vanilla baby 
If you know about Kayali Vanilla 28, you know. A lot of girls are not vanilla girls. Vanilla is not very pop, um, not very liked when it comes to fragrance by a lot of people, but she's one definitely worth having in your collection for fall. This next fragrance really gets a bad rap, but I really don't care. She's another good one to layer. She's nice and soft. She's fluffy. She's marshmallowy. And that is my girl, Billy. Eilish the first one I absolutely love her I had a bottle backwards <laughs> but I absolutely love her and can we agree that the bottle is stunning okay most people say that's the only thing they like about this fragrance is the bottle but that's okay because I love her and it's all about your preference fragrance is definitely something that is subjective and it goes with your body chemistry so what I may like on myself it might not translate the same on you and that's okay but me Oh, I love me some eyelash. It is a perfect for layering. So fluffy, so marshmallowy. It's not too overpowering. It's not too overbearing. Now, she does not last all day. Let's keep it a buck. She does not last all day, but she is a good fragrance to layer with. I love to layer her with the Vanilla 28 um, because they just mix so well. On that back end, that marshmallowy smell in here, like what how do y'all not like this like she is perfect for a nice cozy vanilla routine of course if you have some other vanilla fragrances add the eilish in and mwah. like are you kidding if you are a vanilla girly and you've smelled this before or you have been on the fence about it try her out definitely layer her i hardly wear her alone but i do love to layer her and she is perfect with other perfumes I've been seeing this fragrance everywhere, TikTok, Instagram, everywhere, okay? So I had to go and pick them up because they recently went on sale at Ulta, 15% off, and that is the Nemat Vanilla Musk. She smells so good. Now, I hear that... Oh, I just love to rub her all over my body before I put on any other body care products. I put this on like right after my lotion or wherever I'm going to wear. I layer this on top of my lotion and then spray on my fragrance and oh, let this sit for a minute and it's amazing. Now the amber one, I went to Ulta and I didn't smell a thing. Please let me know if I'm tripping, but I did not smell a thing with the amber. I stood in the store and had it open. I rubbed it could not smell one thing now i did hear that it is a skin scent so i guess it takes a while and then somebody else said um i read in some comments that you have to leave it open for a while i was just like you know what no but this vanilla you could smell her out the bottle baby she smells so good i'm super late to the game they're usually about 20 dollars at Ulta but like I said they recently had a sale and I got these for 20% off so I think I paid maybe $15 for it definitely worth it and you could also um, get this in a perfume as well which I think that I might get because the perfume smells really good and when I was in Ulta I rubbed this on and I layered on top the perfume Mwah. I should have got it then but I didn't even know if I was gonna like this so I got it home and I've worn it for a while and I actually really love this and this is the Nemat Vanilla Musk now like I said they have amber they have white musk they have a few different ones but this vanilla musk is that grow if you have tried her let me know in the comments and you know if I try if y'all have tried any of these things or if you have some layer combos layering combos that y'all like and that y'all swear by let me know I want to try them. I love to try fragrance combo, so don't be shy, girl. If you don't get nothing else from this video, Fleur Vanilla Skin. Baby. Baby. Oh, my God. Now, the notes are on this. This is a gourmand, of course, but it has pink pepper, pink apple, sugar crystals, Lily Jasmine Petals, Cashmere Wood, Benzoin Vanilla Sandalwood, and Argar Wood. Are you kidding? This body mist is amazing. Well, I think it's more of a perfume mist, but this is amazing. 
Fleur did their thing and they just recently dropped the coconut skin and the caramel skin. Definitely going to add caramel skin. I wish I had it for this video, but please believe like tomorrow or sometime this weekend, I will have it and know that I'm adding it to this group of fragrances, okay? But if you do not have this, this is the smaller bottle. I think this one was like 24. The bigger one is 28. They also have it in a fragrance. I have not tried the fragrance yet, but I hear it's just as good, especially with the body mist. I can only imagine. But y'all, if you not have tried vanilla skin, like I have to spray it. Oh, like I don't even want to waste it. Oh, this is just the top, 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 top tier vanilla scent to me. I absolutely love this. 10 out of 10 out of 10. I highly recommend for it to be a body mist. It lasts. Now, don't sleep on body mist. They have created a monster. I'm definitely going to get the caramel skin and the coconut skin. And they also have heavy cream. Oh, my goodness. Like, just take all my money like mm, I'm eating all fog because he's got my sense ah grow all right body care so body care might be a little minimal because I will keep probably the same things in rotation and I'll probably just add minor things to it but pretty much going to be the base and the same for every shower routine that I probably will do this fall because some of these fall products are just too good not to use them over and over and over again okay so first if you have not watched my last video if you did go watch it come back appreciate it um you see that I went on a hunt for the TPH the Tarazi P Henson body care line and I picked up the watch me whip um body butter and I also have the anything glows body oil now like i said these two together you guys and like i said in my last video i don't know why there aren't more people talking about this line it's too good so good this body butter is just the most lightest Mm, and it's like the vanilla and tuberose and it has niacinamide in it a hard working whipped body cream y'all this smells so good it's so moisturizing like and it, it leaves your body super soft after a shower and then you top it off with the oil of course y'all like and this is just the butter by itself. But if you add that oil on top of it, it just gives you, mm, and then you spray that Fleur or that Kayali Vanilla 28. Like, do y'all pick up what I'm putting down? Like, what? Okay. Uh, long okay. Okay. girl gotta keep a good lotion, okay? Because what's body care without lotion? And you already know that your girl is an EOS girly. So with fall, I have to keep, of course, the Vanilla Cashmere in rotation if you know and you know i know that we all love these lotions they drop some new scents i have those as well but for the fall i definitely want to be bringing her out now she smells really good also layered with the fleur or the vanilla 28 she smells really good now you could also do like an unscented soap or whatever and then just come out of the shower put on your vanilla cashmere this goes really well with billy eilish i absolutely love it for just like a quick little mm -mm, smell good not too much not too much but something effective then that's a really good combo but this lotion is just so soft and if you have not tried the eos lotions please try them they are all the hype they keep you very moisturized they smell really good and then this fragrance lasts a long time i'm just a sucker for anything vanilla y'all Mm, it's like vanilla and cocoa butter or something but when somebody says that they're not like a vanilla girl and fragrance i'm really like huh because i absolutely love vanilla in my fragrance i believe like probably all of my fragrance have vanilla somewhere in them but i'm trying to get away from it but for the fall to me it's a must many people sleep on this cantu lotion it has to be the hydrating one when i tell you this smells exactly like the Fenty Butter Drop. This smells amazing. And it has to be 
the hydrating one with shea butter, okay? This one here, please. Oh my goodness, it smells amazing. Oh, oh my goodness, it is cinnamony, it's buttery, it's everything. It smells so good, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I went to Sephora the other day just to smell the Fenty to make sure that I wasn't tripping. This smells exactly like it. Like, this is one of the closest things that I got to that nice buttery cinnamon fall, vanilla, brown sugary. Oh, this is everything. If you have not got hooked on this, get it. I get it at Walmart usually. I'm not sure if Target sells it, but Walmart usually has the cat who lotion and you guys... She stay in heavy rotation, even outside of the fall. I just love the way this one smells so good, y'all. Mm. You know you cannot have a good shower routine without a good scrub, okay? So y'all know that I went and picked up this Dove Brown Sugar Coconut Butter Scrub. Like I said, I am moving more away from the Sugar Scrubs by Tree Hut, and I'm getting more into this texture of scrub more milky more luxurious more you know just more foaming more deeper penetrating scrub but this would definitely i need to find somebody to um compliment her but for the fall i said i had to have her brown sugar it's just perfect and i think that it will complement all my other fragrances lotions well so i was on a hunt for the dove fall collection i could not find them it's exclusively at walmart but everything is sold out everything is sold out y'all know i'm on a hunt for that pecan butter crunch and all i can find is the hand wash i cannot find the scrub and i cannot find the body wash so hopefully they bring it back before the fall is over but they probably won't because I was late to the game. I had no idea Dove even had a fall collection. So, anywho, without further ado, I ended up picking up the Cinnamon Pumpkin Apple Pie. Which smells a really, really good. Now, it's really giving like that Fenty, oh, yeah, that buttery, cinnamony, spicy, mmm. It, it's, 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 it's really giving fall. It's kind of giving me a hint of that Fenty butter drop. Oh my goodness. It is, you guys, everything, okay? The body wash, of course, it smells the same. I had to go and get it as well. And this in the Pecan Butter Crunch is the only one I really like from this collection. That's Caramel Apple Cider or Caramel Cider, whatever. Apple Cider. It smells like potpourri. It smells like something you boil on the stove to make your house smell good more so than your body. So I just went ahead and left with these two because this one and the pecan butter crunch is the two that I wanted to um, try. So yeah, I'm happy I caught these. Now I went back to that same Walmart and they're gone already. So hopefully you can find these. I know they're charging an arm and leg for them on Amazon, but if you can find them, they are definitely worth adding to your fall collection. All right, y'all, I just want to get on here and share those with y'all. Those are some of the items that I will be reaching for fall as far as fall fragrance, fall body care, fall shower routines, nice and cozy. And yeah, I just want to get on here and share them with y'all. I want to know what are some of your favorite products? Do you use any of these products that I showed? Do you like them? Have you tried them with anything else? Give me some layering combos. Give me some shower routine ideas. Like, let me know. Let's chat it up in the comments. I absolutely love you guys. And you know, like I always say, thank you for being here. Think about hitting that subscribe button and joining the family. And until the next time, y'all, I love you. Mwah. Bye.